In today's video, we are taking a couple of comment requests and we're going to test out what happens when you take gum and put it in a microwave and a vacuum chamber. Guys, in a previous video, you saw me and Nate chew a thousand gumballs and stick them in a blender. Well, we still have gum left over and we've gotten a couple of comment requests to see if there's anything else we can do with it, namely involving a microwave and our vacuum chamber. So we're gonna give it a shot. So to start out, if you saw our last video where we put a thousand gumballs into this blender, you might remember that Nate and I chewed a lot of gum and I'm still getting war flashbacks from that. So I'm not gonna be chewing up this gum today maybe one or two pieces, but my jaw is still tired from that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the blender to pre-chew the gum, and then we're gonna try out a few things with it. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's so warmed up from the blades, it's actually hot, even through my gloves. I don't know why anyone would ever need pre-chewed gum for anything, unless it's like a movie prop, but this is a great way to make pre-chewed gum. Right, let's start with that. Perfect. And now we just add more. Now last time we did this, we had so much gum in the blender that it gummed up the blades. That's kind of what I'm going for again. Perfect! <laughs> oh, the smell of gum is overpowering and this looks awesome and disgusting. I'm thrilled. An entire blender of pre-chewed gum. All right, so the first part I find hilarious is you guys saw how big that pile of gum powder was and now that's what we're reduced to. Yes, there is still some gum left in the blender that we couldn't scrape off, but we took that down to a fourth of its size. For our first test, Mark Escalera asks, what if you put gum in a microwave? We're gonna find out. So you guys have seen us put some really weird stuff in this microwave. Don't use without asking Nate. We're ignoring that. Okay, it's mine now. We've drilled a hole in the back of this microwave so that we can see what's going on in there without having to go through the mesh. So we're gonna go ahead and put our gum in the microwave and then start filming. So I'm not gonna start directly with the chewed gum. I actually just wanna throw some gumballs in here first, see what happens. They do have that big air pocket in the middle, so maybe they'll crack open or explode. I'll just start with a couple. Meh. I doubt it's gonna need that much time, but we'll find out. What? They melt? <laughs> That's bizarre. Like, yes, there's sugar. But I didn't expect that. Nate! <laughs> squishy? <laughs> it's squishy. <laughs> Weird. We thought they were gonna pop or crack or something. They did not. I thought they were gonna stay crunchy and maybe crack because there is that little pocket of air in the center, but the first three ingredients are just sugar, so that makes a little more sense. One of every color. This time, I'm just gonna let them melt into a soup. Melting a lot faster this time. And again, the smell of gum is just overpowering in this room. It's starting to smell really bad. Well, interesting. I'm not sure if it was the placement, but some of them are just completely melted. This is what gumballs look like in a microwave. 
It's actually really good. It's confusing because it has like a caramelized outside now, but the center is still gooey. So it tastes more like, like a candy instead of just gum, but it's delicious. You should try that. But be really careful because it was really hot when it came out of the microwave. Now we gotta try our chewed gum. Just have to keep reminding myself that nobody's actually chewed this. That's not what's happened here. Eh, why not? Oh, that took no time at all. It is just melting to pieces. <laughs> oh, nope, save the microwave. Gross, gross, oh, oh no, okay. So that's foam. <laughs> what? Oh, no, <laughs> okay, well. I'm trying to pick it up. I think this is a really good point of why I shouldn't be left unsupervised. <laughs> Mark Escalara, you wanted to know what would happen if you put bubble gum in a microwave. It makes a huge mess. Now we know. Our next comment request comes from Rika Doreen Marzen, who says, put bubble gum in a vacuum chamber. Ha ha ha. So we're gonna. So, do gumballs do anything in a vacuum chamber? No, but let's see if chewed gum does. I've gone through more gloves today than I have in so many episodes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. It's still growing. And it is bubbling. You can actually see the water that we use to form the gum is just being seeped out of this ball now. Let's see what happens when we break this seal. All right, that's fascinating. Normally, when you break the seal in the vacuum chamber, the items relax and they shrink back down to a closer to their original size. This almost doubled in size, and it's actually pretty firm to the touch. That is disgusting and awesome. Look at that, it's actually almost solid to the touch now that it's completely expanded. All right, so that turned out awesome, but now I actually wanna know if we can make a self-inflating bubble with this bubble gum. So we're gonna try this one more time. So this was incredibly firm, so I tossed it back in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and now it's just falling apart. It's back to that foam consistency we saw before. We're doing the sales school way. <laughs> awesome. Mark, Rika, thank you guys so much for your suggestions. I'm going to be cleaning gum off this counter for weeks.
Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. This box up here at the top will take you to our latest video. That box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Hit this bomb in the middle to subscribe to the club. Don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss out on the fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.